Hey guys, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm not here. Soz. Um, I am, by the way, just filming on my iPhone again because it is it's a hell of a lot easier because I can edit on it. But that is by the by, that's not why you're here today. You are here because you've got another haul. Um, we've got a little haul today, a charity shop more sustainable haul than what we're used to. Um, I do love a charity shop. I love the anticipation, um, the like hunting through the rails, the finds that you can find, the surprises, everything like that. I do love going through and seeing what they have available and actually I love a bargain as well that we know of um, and you can get some great bargains in a charity shop. I volunteer in the charity shop at the weekends. Um, today is not from the charity shop that I work at. It is from British Heart Foundation, um, which they do have some great stuff in there. I went to Marlow recently with my mother um, because we went to Clifton and then we went in the Ivy and had afternoon tea in Marlow. And Marlow is a fairly affluent town. The high street is a fairly affluent place. You've got like mid like premium high street brands in there like you've got whistles jigsaw stuff like that so the high street is like good um and they've got four charity shops on there two of them aren't open on a monday so bear in mind that but it is a good place to go for a hunt in the charity shops um i have got something from a charity shop in marlow before a brand new february sweatshirt which was really good but anyway i'm gonna delve right on in here this bag is bursting at the seams i didn't think the person would actually be able to fit what is in the bag in the bag but they did got my receipt here so i paid 21 pound and 9p um i did have to get a bag because um i didn't have any well my mum had a reusable bag but that was full i had another bag that i got free in Jojo Mama Baby, if you haven't seen that haul, I'll link that up there. Um, but that was full and wouldn't take this stuff, so I had to buy a bag. Um, but the first thing I got was this. Now, I'm always on the hunt. My favourite thing to buy in a charity shop are shirts. I love my shirts, and I especially look for some cheap ones um, at the moment. So the first thing I got was... Is it done up? Yes, it is. Seeing it in the sh um, not in the shop, it actually looks a bit like a different colour. It looks more navy, but in the shop it looked black. Um, but it's this. Let's get it all nice and neat for you. It's this. God, can I say that any more times? I can't get it straight. There we go. It's this shirt. This was originally from French Connection. It was £7.50. I think in like French Connection, this would be £30 upwards. There you go, you can see the design better there. It's got like, not a polka dot pattern, but kind of in like a polka dot kind of shape. I got it in a medium, did I? Yeah, £7.50 French Connection. It looks great to me. So I'll definitely be wearing that. It's very much a shirt I wear to work. I can wear it like now in the summer because it's a short sleeve. And I can also wear it, I'll just set it on my lap. Um, can wear it in the winter as well i've just seen there's some detailing on one of the sides on the bottom there's a thread on it but that's not anything yeah it's got like a little french connection tag there as well so yeah can wear it under jumpers um or just without a jumper for work because i much prefer wearing a short sleeve shirt under a jumper at work because then i can have the opportunities to roll up my sleeves um, next thing is another shirt that I saw. I think I did see a nice shirt in there, but it wasn't the size I wanted and I didn't want to risk it. Um, this was £4.99 and it's from Jules. Um, oh, it says a slim fit. Mm, not sure about that. Got it in a medium and it's just this check. Why is the button? I'd like it done up for more, please. Maybe undid it to get the hanger off. Let's do it up again. So you can see the full effect. Okay. So there we go. It's this check print, 
which is like a grey check, but then it's got kind of like a lime green colour going through it, which is interesting. I don't have anything like this um, with that green check, which really, like from afar, you can't notice it. It looks like just a check shirt, but up close you can really see that lime green, like it's a highlighter green, I guess. But yeah, that's really nice. Um, again, four ninety nine. when originally this would probably be £30 up if you bought it new. It's got a pocket here on the, um, you know, front of the shirt there. And it has got the little, whatever their logo is, hair, I think it is. Can you see that? Uh, it's very minimal. You probably cannot see that in real life, really. And it's like really up close because it's in a grey and it matches into the shirt. So yeah, I thought that was very nice. I could get away with wearing that at work actually quite easily um, or just casually as well. Then I got one last thing. I need, I should really try this on because I'm not sure if this is going to fit because I got it in a small and I normally like my sweatshirts to be a bit oversized and bigger but it'll be nice to have one that's not I guess. Um, I got this for £8.50 and it's by Farrah. Um, and it's in my favourite colour. <laughs> Look, I'm wearing it. My favourite colour today literally blends into it. Um, but yeah, this is just a whatever colour you want to call this. Tealy minty colour. Um, and it's just got the... Literally just plain like that. And it's got the uh, Farrah logo there in the orange. Orangey yellowy colour. So yeah. That is it. It's just like a sweatshirt. Nothing really to write home about that. Um, hopefully it will fit quite nice. It was £8.50, which I didn't really want to spend that much. I love buying bargain shirts. If you saw my I'll link up here um haul from when I went to Hemel and in that charity shop in Hemel, the Bernardos, that so good. Like they were selling Tommy Hilfiger and I bought one Tommy Hilfiger shirt for three quid. And like a garnet shirt for three pound, like that seemed to be the maximum price in that shop. Not complaining, that was a really good find in there. But yeah, and I got a Gap one for three pound, if not less. So yeah, lo that's why I love charity shop shopping because you can get such good bargains, and it's sustainable because that is not going into landfill, and you're reusing something that otherwise someone would have thrown away. Which is great. This shirt is not going to look great now I've folded it up. But anyway, that is my haul from a charity shop, specifically British Heart Foundation. Have you bought anything in a charity shop recently? Please let me know down below. I love to hear about what finds you have found. And yeah, if you're not already, please subscribe. Hit that down below. Um, follow my Instagrams, which are down below as well. And I will see you in my next video. Who knows what that's going to be. It's probably going to be a come shot with me, let's be honest, because that is what I like to do these days. Hopefully not have a haul for a while yet anyway. Try not to buy some things, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and take care. And I will see you in my next one, which will hopefully be on Wednesday. Thanks. Bye.